And then here we go, solar sky. So you select solar sky. You can see for the lifetime of this vehicle, the solar roof has added 90.2 miles or 28 kilowatt hours. All right, today we have an exciting one. Behind me is, is a 2024 Fisker Ocean One, the all electric SUV brought to you by the same guy who about uh, 10 or 12 years ago brought you this. I'll pop one up here. Beautiful Fisker Karma. Special thanks to Classic Fisker of Atlanta. They're the only Fisker dealer right now in the state of Georgia. So if you want a Fisker, you can come down here to Georgia. You can get one from them in Sandy Springs. I'll have contact information in the description below for them. Tell them, big see sent you if you uh see my video before you go there to check these out so click like click subscribe indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch and we're going to give you a full tour of the inside and outside of this fisker ocean one and as a little bonus this one has the fisker ocean 2.0 software update which a lot of people have been waiting for so we have a few extra features for like the solar sky and stuff that we can show you that i don't think anyone else has seen yet so let's get into it we have a brand new 2024 fisker ocean now personally i think this car looks amazing this is a fisker one edition so this is one of the limited editions i believe they made 5,000 of these so there's not many of these on the market and uh, this is just a little tour around the car this is the front definitely gives Range Rover vibes like that it kind of looks like a Range Rover. This does, this is the key fob. Hey, there we go, we got it. <laughs> so yeah, that says Ocean. I love the headlights though. It's like a bar light, almost like a Cybertruck. The side profile, also very nice. These rims, I think are just beautiful as well. You got Fisker design in there and uh, some brake calipers that it says Fisker in there. Now the door handles do present themselves like a lot of cars. And when you're driving, that is flush. These also light up at night as well. Let me unlock it, opens up, door handles come out, and then the same when you lock it, goes back in. You got turn signals here. This is your charge port door for CCS. You even have a little light there as well. The NAX adapter should be coming at the end of this year, I believe. And this is VIN number 5,767. What's really unique about this one is this is actually on the 2.0 software update. So it's supposed to have the auto hold for when you're on a hill. There's actually information for the solar sky. So I believe this will be the first YouTube video showing the 2.0 update uh, since that's been installed. Around the outside of the car though, there's a camera here, part of like the 360 view, camera on the side. And you've actually got two cameras on the back. You have a camera down here, as well as a camera up here. Now, this one does have the California mode. So all the windows will go down if I uh, press this button. Oh, you just gotta press it. Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to close it really quick because it's raining, but or it's sprinkling at least. But that is a California mode. All the windows go down, including this back window. You could like, you know, put your surfboard in there or something. And then you press it again and it closes. Now I can say this one does not have a frunk. You actually can't open the frunk. I was told that you have to have a special key and only service can apparently open the frunk of this car. Uh, so I have no idea what's actually underneath the frunk there. And on top, the solar panels with a nice little Fisker logo on back there. This is what the inside of the Fisker Ocean looks like. Now, this is like a driver assistance uh, feature here. You have your sun visors here with a mirror and light there. And yes, they can pull off and go this way as well. Looks like that's your mic for your Bluetooth. Identical over here. Here in the middle, you have uh, a few light settings as well. That's your SOS button, your hazard lights. That's the uh, button that does the whole uh, California mode thing. If you do it from inside the car, you just pull it either way. And so to start this car, you uh, take your key, got a little marker here, kind of tap it against that, and then just put your brake and now your car is started. That's noise is because of my seatbelt. Now the mirror is either the camera on the back or you can, uh, flip it to be just a normal standard mirror, but hi, my queen. 
if there's people in the back seat, it might be easier to uh, to have that. Now, these uh, buttons here, these will be turned in to garage door openers. That's pretty cool. There was a warning light there on your mirror, you can see. And you can also see it here on the right side of this uh, screen. As for the driver's side over here, you've got your uh, locks, window buttons. This is actually how you change the mirrors, left mirror, right mirror, and you know, move your little dial and stuff, nice and easy. This down here will open up the trunk. Over here, you've got your uh, parking brake. It does put the parking brake on automatically, so uh, you have to press that every time. I don't think you can turn that off in settings from what I can tell. Your uh, blinker, so nice blinker sound here. And this little dial would also turn on your windshield wipers, which we unfortunately need today. Now to put into drive and stuff, once you've uh, tapped your key, you just hold your brake down, put you into drive, up, we'll put you into reverse, where you then get your nice backup camera here, which I like the lines. The lines do turn with the steering wheel, so that's good. I've seen many cars where they do not do that. And to put it in the park, you just press your button. Now, the steering wheel uh, has volume controls over here on the side. Uh, this is how you change your track answer a call. This is like a voice assistant button. These two here are for like your driver assist settings. Now this little button will change your drive modes. Now there's three drive modes, earth, which is, uh, you know, the most efficient one, fun mode, and then hyper mode, which is the fast mode. I can say it's really fast to get up and go in hyper mode. I personally really like that. And for those wondering, yes, the horn is just right in the middle on either side. Now this screen is not a touch screen or anything like that. It just has your information, your date and time over here, your battery mileage and percent over here, and then which uh, mode and stuff you're in. It does glow some uh, different colors as you're accelerating and decelerating. And so when you're driving and accelerating, it's red. And then as you're slowing down, it goes blue. Now before the 2.0 update, it would kind of jump back and forth. Now it seems to just stay one color. Now, on to this massive screen over here. Now, there's a lot of uh, different things about the screen than, that most EVs do not have. First off, at the bottom, you have your uh, controls. So like, you can control your fan speed, you can control how hot or cold it is. This is your volume control for your music. And uh, then it's actually dual climate. So this side can, you know, they can be on 80 degrees if they're uh, freezing for some reason. Oh, it goes to 90, nice. And then this side, you know, can uh, be on low. So dual climate control, nice. I wish my Model 3 had that. And then also this is a touchscreen. So if you want to control it through the screen, you can, or the buttons, that's kind of uh, the preference. I like that they gave the option for both because there's a lot of people that don't like all the touchscreen stuff. I, I can say, I personally really like these buttons. It just makes it nice and quick and easy besides uh, having to deal with all the shenanigans of a screen. Now also though, on the screen, if you click this little fan button, this is where you can control more of those settings. So you can see it's red for the right side since it's on heat, blue for the left, and you know, you can move these around however you may want. That's where you change your modes. It does have a heated steering wheel, so that's pretty cool. Love that. Can sink the sides. And then the rear seats. The rear seats also are uh, heated on the left and right. The center is not heated. Now one of the coolest features of the ocean, in my opinion, this button. You hold this button and then it rotates the screen around to what they call Hollywood mode, which then gives you the ability to access some uh, movies and stuff. And if you click this button, you now have YouTube, Apple TV, Disney Plus, Pluto, Hulu, and Amazon Prime. Those are pretty good options. Mm -hmm. Wow. Everything else um, kind of stays down here. And from what I've been told, uh, it'll automatically go back to vertical if you're going to drive. I want to see that. Okay. It it really does. Hopefully in a software update, they will change that because personally, some people will like it that way. Some people will like it horizontal. That would be probably the only thing software wise I wish they would change besides giving us the ability to put on the blinker and uh, get the camera there. That's over there on the mirror. That'd be two updates I would ask for in the 2.5 or 3.0 update. So let me show you down here software and you can see we are on ocean version 2.0. These are the release notes. So uh, some key fob improvements, the front and rear torque split, uh, the automatic vehicle hold. And just to show my foot's not on the brake, we are uh, on a slight incline here and we're just in ready. You see the little H there is the hold, meaning that uh, as soon as I get clear here, I can just press the gas and we're ready to go. 
So that works perfectly, just like in all the other EVs. And then I'll show you here as well. Apply the brake and then boom, there's our hold. Now we're in hold again. The Solar Sky charging visuals, nice brake disc wiping in wet weather. The braking automatically applies and clears water from the brake. Interesting. Wow. Individual driver profiles. Your drive to weigh every time. Save preferences, privacy, comfort settings, and more on multiple driver profiles. And uh, some phantom drain settings. Now over the air updates can be installed while it's charging. Enhanced accuracy. Some nice updates in the Ocean OS 2.0, which this car does have. And just to show you, if you click this little button here, it takes you into your menu. So you can see we have 56% state of charge, 169 miles. Our last charge we added 183 miles at 58 kilowatt hours. They also recommend the 80% for daily trips. And then here we go, Solar Sky. So select Solar Sky. You can see for the lifetime of this vehicle, the solar roof has added 90.2 miles or 28 kilowatt hours. That's pretty cool. And currently, right now, it is not adding anything. That's because unfortunately, I picked an ugly rainy day to come check out this car. <laughs> but still very cool that that is now in here. So I can show you here in settings on the car, vehicle and service. As you can see, limited edition. This is number 1370 of 5,000. Now this is VIN number 5,767. So that is pretty cool. Now, uh, these are some of the settings. So adjusting the steering wheel, you can change it from miles to kilometers and all that. Your regenerative braking settings, there's three modes there. Your audio settings, DJX 3D surround. We'll turn that on. Your uh, equalizers, your bass, etc. Connectivity, I did connect my phone. Um, and this says that it has a hotspot, so that's actually pretty cool. These are the display settings, automatic brightness. There is a, a dark mode, which is what it's in now. If you click this, it'll go to a light mode, which is much brighter. I kind of like both of those, to be 100% honest, but we'll switch it back over to dark mode. There's a screen cleaning mode, that's always good. Your brightness, automatic brightness, etc. The uh, lighting, you can set your exterior lights for delays, interior lights, daytime running lights, etc. And then your safety features, these are all the safety features of the car. Front collision settings, lane departure warning settings, blind spot detection settings, driver attention warning, door opening warning. Wow, monitors approaching vehicles from behind and warns occupants opening their doors. That's pretty cool. And traffic light assist, so I do like that one. Driver assistance settings. This is where you can set the lift gate to be at a different height. And then the uh, energy standby time. And then your profile, which I don't think yeah, can really do anything there. This of course is uh, just all of your Bluetooth stuff for your phone. This is your music. There's TuneIn, Bluetooth, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and regular radio. This here is your maps, which they use TomTom Tom for their maps. And uh, what kind of settings do we have here? So buildings in 3D, let's, let's throw that on. I wanna see some buildings in 3D. Range visualization, automatic map updates are on. Planning and travel, you can pick your toll roads and stuff. Voice and alerts. Very nice. Red light cameras. I kind of like showing all the uh, features here. Vehicle settings. And then this little main screen is just the main window. This is basically what you'd see whenever you're driving. You got your music down here, your climate controls here, your map visuals here, and then uh, just kind of being able to look around the car up top. So some other things to show you. We have uh, two wireless chargers here. Let me uh, you know, pop my pixel on here. And there we go, wirelessly charging. There's like a little bit of a uh, storage space down here, I guess technically you could put stuff in there if you wanted to. Two cup holders here. And then in the middle, one of the uh, interesting features of this car, the taco tray. See this? You can put your tacos here and eat. You can put your laptop here. Holds up to 11 pounds. Just uh, pretty cool that you have that option. And then it just folds in back out of your way. I will say, I agree that it takes up about half of the space in here, but you know, that's uh, one of the features. You got a little spot there to put your key fob. And then over here, there is no actual glove box, but you have, holds 11 pounds as well. Great for when you're out and charging and you know, need to uh, eat a taco. Not much to show you on the passenger side over here. They just have a window button. Um, 
that's other than some storage there in the door. All right, let's check out the back seat. Okay, so this is a uh, about a 5'8 driver's position here, and I'm 5'8, but still have plenty of room here. There is little uh, hooks, and you have your uh, vents here, and hidden here is two USB-C ports for the back seat passengers. And then one of the coolest features is uh, this little button. This button moves the seat, so you can recline the seat back some or uh, bring it up. Never seen that, but I really, really like it. Now you do have the little squares from the solar panels up here. I think that's actually pretty interesting. I like it. In terms of headroom, as I mentioned, I'm 5'8". I got good headroom back here. Got lights here on this side and this side. And then in the middle, if you pull this down, there's a little uh, screen here to control all those settings. So you've got your uh, fan settings, your seat settings, uh, even, what's the volume control? What, I can turn up the volume up front? I don't know if I like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I can be like, hey, I wanna jam out. This would be good for uh, like Uber drivers yeah. and stuff. They, they could control all that. Your heated seats, and then this controls your uh, fan speeds here and the temp. Personally, I really like the back seat. Also like this uh, little stitching that they have in here. It's all like vegan leather. Just looks really, really nice in my opinion. Some uh, ocean branding there. Now to get into the trunk, you have a little button right here. Just press that, opens up your trunk. So this would be the uh, trunk area to call it i guess you do have, have 120 volt outlet over here so that's pretty dope as well as a uh, cigarette lighter there this one even has uh, one of those little cover shades so you know it's able to hide whatever you have back here that's pretty nice i dig that underneath here there is a good amount of storage i think and then there's also some uh like emergency kit items here as well which that's not really extra storage but just emergency kit stuff that's included now also in the settings you can uh, adjust this to whatever height you need so you know if your garage is too low uh you know you wouldn't have to worry about that you can change that in the settings so press that to close it nice and smooth i dig it now uh this is the sticker for the car total vehicle price for this exact model seventy one thousand seven hundred and fifty seven dollars now i do got to try some stuff so i'm curious how much speed this usb port has so i brought uh this 120 watt power bank and uh this power bank can charge a device at 120 watts and it can be charged at 120 watts. So let's see, plug it into our USB-C. What kind of speeds do we get here? So it looks like uh, 10 watts of power. And just for good measure, let's try the right one here. It's also getting 10 watts. So let's try the one up front. I didn't notice this before. There's like a little oceany design in that logo. Power there, ocean one and Fisker on the mats. There's a better view of that storage area and the storage area in the door. And so let's try this one. Put our bank here. We have a USB-C and a USB-A down here. Plug into the USB-C. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be 10 watts, but being up front, it might be more. Five, seven, 10. So 10 watts of charging throughout the whole vehicle on the USB ports. So that's pretty cool. Hi, McQueen. Personally, uh, we both really like this car. Love it. The drive is great. There's tons of room. The software 2.0 feature seems to uh, really solve a lot of those problems that I think a lot of the early, early adapters uh, seem to have. So at the end of the day, I really feel this is a solid, beautiful car. This one actually gets 360 miles of range. The battery pack on the one in the extreme is 113 kilowatt hour battery pack. Uh, usable is about 106 kilowatt hours. And the uh, cheaper $40,000 sport model has an 80 kilowatt hour battery pack about 75 kilowatt hours of uh, usable battery the fisker one and extreme get 360 miles of range the fisker ultra will get 350 miles of range and the sport will get i believe 250 some things are showing 230 those uh those have not been released yet though so this model will go zero to 60 in about four seconds flat 468 horsepower 696 pounds of torque and a top speed of 127 miles per hour and the max uh, charging is 175 kilowatts so that's that's pretty good but i think that's it 
for a look at the Fisker Ocean One, two massive thumbs up from us. Really, really like this car. We personally are waiting on the uh, Fisker lease option. They uh, have a thing that they, it's kind of like a Netflix subscription for a car. It was called Flex Lease, where basically you paid $3,000 up front, and then you could lease the car for, I believe, like $350 a month. And you got 30,000 miles of driving per year, which no other lease gives you that. So that's what we're waiting on uh, to possibly get for her, because she wants an SUV like this uh, over a little low-sitting car like our Model 3. So thanks again to Classic Fisker of Atlanta. They are the only dealer right now in the state of Georgia. So if you would like a Fisker Ocean, go down there, check them out, tell them Big C sent you and uh, pick yourself up a Fisker Ocean. I know as of today, uh, which is March 6th, they have two available actually in stock, ready to pick up and go. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you next time. Deuces. Bye.